Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I just wanted to talk about the current situation that's going on with Trove right now. So if you guys don't know, there was a maintenance earlier today, depending on when you're watching this video, and there's a lot of duped stuff that were going around in Trove. Now if you are aware of the console situation that basically just happened to PC, but kind of to like a less extreme. So at the moment, after the maintenance, they did fix something, I don't really know what they exactly fixed, I'm hoping they at least fixed the duping or whatever that method was, but it turns out that whatever people had left over from the duping is all on the marketplace and if we take a look at Gonda for example, that is looking like 2 mil, it, it's kind of missing some zeros in there. So Gonda's a little bit messed up at the moment, uh, Skelly boxes are back, they're pretty expensive still but like, but there's starting to be less and less of them and they are still there. And then things like Raider Dragon Caches, those have gone down in price, which is pretty insane because this was like 4 mil each with like not that many of them on the market. Now there's like a decent amount of them on the market. And then another big one is Luna Eclipse here. This is like a 40 to 60 mil mount and now it's at 1 mil. So long story short, just don't buy any of these sus items on the market. I was actually going to plan to host a giveaway for my birthday actually, which is coming up in October. It is October, but on the 30th of October. And my plan was to give away Flux, give away Gondas, just something that you guys might need. I don't know if you guys need the Gonda, but at least you guys can sell that for Flux. But now I guess I can't really do that. Because one, people might think that the items that I gave them are duped, which they're not. And then two, I don't want to give these items out in case Game Go false bans, because they probably don't understand how giveaways work. And then three, these items have just fallen down in price so much that I don't even know what to even give out anymore. So it's currently the weekend, the devs aren't in the office, they're usually in the office during the weekdays and I guess they were able to schedule this maintenance and do something at least. They at least took some bit of action, so my guess is that whatever people had duped is just being listed on the market, so if you're buying stuff on the market, you're most likely going to get banned. I actually bought Depth's Core not too long ago, so I'm hoping my account is fine. There's a bunch of people hosting them on PC, so the prices dropped, so I thought that would be my opportunity to buy them, so I can actually finish leveling up my gear, because I'm actually really close. I have a couple levels left on my hats, and I'll finally have a max out set, but I don't know what that's going to look like. I have been streaming my entire journey on Twitch, so if you do want to check me out, I do stream every single day, almost every single day, not on the weekends, sometimes I miss a couple days here and there, but pretty close to every day, and I usually stream at kind of odd hours, so like 6am, 7am German time, or just like 1am EST, which I know isn't super convenient for some of you guys, but that's just when I get off work, and then that's just the most convenient hours for me, so that's when I play Trove. But anyway, apart from that, I just wanted to inform you guys about the current situation that's going on with Trove. I don't know if there's gonna be another band wave, there might be a huge band wave coming up, we don't really entirely know, so we'll have to find out during the week if anything like that happens. My guess is that Gamingo is gonna delete like all of these suspicious items, or at least make them untradeable, and then if possible they could do a server rollback, and then if people try listing these items or doing anything suspicious, maybe those people can get banned. I have no idea what the best outcome would be, but it's definitely not having a, a Luna Clip- wait I spelled Luna Clips here wrong. <laughs> not Lana. Uh, Luna Clipsia, 1 mil. Okay, it literally just dropped in price as we speak, so it's the prices are still going down. It's ridiculous. So like I said, they could do a server rollback for at least a couple days. Maybe that'll fix something, but I guess these items could get listed again. I really have no idea what the best thing they could do is. And as far as I'm aware of, I think if you try to trade something in the trade post, your items get deleted. So if you are doing that, just be careful about it. Don't trade anything. Just don't buy anything and don't trade anything just for a few days until things settle down. So I guess whenever Monday rolls around, Monday reset, we can see what the devs decide to do. There might be another maintenance. Uh, I know Shadow's Eve is coming up, so they're trying to prepare for that event. And as far as future updates go, I don't think the devs are going to plan on doing anything because they have to fix this now for PC, and then whatever happened on PC, they definitely have to fix for console because whatever happened to console at the start of this year, you definitely don't want to have that repeated again. So yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of a mess right now. I just wanted to inform you guys so you guys are aware of everything that's going on. And other little updates, the PTS is live. They added a couple of changes to it, but nothing too much for me to really make a video about. It's just a tutorial world. So if you guys are curious about the new tutorial world just check out my last video and i guess apart from that for shadows eve uh if you guys didn't know skelly boxes were introduced in shadows eve and last year they were completely removed the year before that they were untradeable maybe the year before that it was untradeable but either way last year it was removed i'm kind of curious if they're going to completely remove it and never have it for shadows eve considering the chaos that happened with it and then as far as frosty boxes go i really want frosties to come back the same you know donation stuff everything the same so i, I hope all of that stays because i do have donation items that i do want to give 
for that just so I can finish maxing out my classes. If the frosty boxes are the exact same, I will have all of the gems for all of my classes done. And then from there, I just have to work on mystic gear. And right now I'm just working on my boomeranger. So getting close to finishing up that. But yeah, just a little update there, I guess, if, if you guys were curious. But, but anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much. Anyway, if you are getting married, huge congrats to you guys. Happy birthday if it is your birthday. And if you're watching this video from the future, then let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or if you find yourself coming back. And like always, thank you all so much for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing, and I will talk to you all later.